In this video, I'll show you how to form a BOQ in Excel from scratch, including all the shortcuts that I usually use that will cut your working time on Excel by half and we are starting right now. So as you see, I have a blank file here, new file, and I'll start this by writing serial number and item description. And also we need the unit and we need the quantity and we need the rate and we need the amount. So I have these cells here and I'll just click this arrow and I'll do all borders. Then I want to select these rows like that and double click in between any of them. So it will just fit to the size as you can see here. Let's increase column C a little bit. And these three columns, I can select them and increase one of them. So three of them will increase. So let's make quantity and rate like that. And I'll make the amount a little bigger. Then you can select this row or actually control A to select everything. And I want everything to be center for the time being. So this was applied to everything here in this sheet. After that, I want to select a range like this and I'll press from the keyboard control one. So control one will open this, which is for mat cells. You go to border and we need external border and we need the vertical line and we need one line from down as well. So this is the shape or the looks that I get when I do that. Let's minimize column A. And here from the down right corner, we can go to page break preview. I'll just click on this and control and scroll to zoom in. I need to bring this blue line here and this blue line here and I will reduce this column. So this is what I am having right now, something that looks like that. Then control P to go to the printing menu. And the first thing I want to do, the letter, let's change it to A4. And then these margins, let's make them narrow. And the scaling, let's make fit all columns on one page. So what happens when we do this? We will now understand how our page looks like. So again, the next part that I want to show to you, you just select any row and control plus. You add rows, control plus, plus. Why I'm adding rows to see where is the end of my page. So control plus, I am adding, adding, as you can see. Here you see, starting from here, this is page two. So up to here, this is page one, starting from top up to this part. So here I can select this area and make it again all borders because I will have the total of this page here, total page. And for example, here we can put the currency, something like this. And I can bring this blue line here just to have one page for the time being. And I'll show you, it will look something like this. So it is not in the center, as you can see. So I can go to page setup, then margins and horizontally. So it will be centered horizontally, as you can see here. Okay, then we go back. Now we are almost ready. Let's make this bold. So if you want to make something bold by a shortcut, you select whatever a cell or a row, then control B. So it becomes bold, as you can see, and I can increase the height of this row a little bit like this. But you see again, now this row became in page number two. So I can just select one row from here, control minus. So I am deleting rows with control minus and I am adding rows with control plus. So we have this page, it looks like this, but maybe I need few pages like page two, page three. So I will just expand this blue line up to down and I can keep adding rows here. So the rows that I am adding right now are coming in page two. So I'll keep adding rows, control plus again. So this is the end of page two as we discussed. So I'll just make it all borders or actually what I can do, I can come here and just select this, then control C to copy it then come here, select this cell and just press enter. So you paste it here, okay? Then again, you can copy, for example, I can go and just select from here. I am selecting row number 50, which is the first row in page two. And up to the end of page two, actually page two is not yet fitting. So I'll just delete some rows. Now I have page two, as you can see here. This is page one and this is page two, but of course it is without any title. So what I can do, I'll just go and I'll make these rows repeating when I am printing. So how to do this? I'll just go to page layout and print titles. And from here, rows to be repeated at top, I want to select these two, row one and row two. I want them to be repeated at top in all the pages. So when I do that, actually page two now is out of the printing area. Why? Because I added two more rows in the printing, as you can see here. Now this is page one and this is page two. So I added this 
to page two. I added it to all the pages actually. So the end of page two went down. So what I can do, I can come here to page two, select any row, control minus to delete some rows. Now you see page two is fitting. So if I just press control P, this is page one and this is page two. Okay, so one, two, and this is three. Why this is number three? Because here I have something free from anything, but it's just repeating the first two rows in the beginning. So now I need to create page three also. So here page two is starting from row 50. I'll select row 50 and then I'll press shift and select row number 96. So you see, I have selected all these rows and control C to copy them. Then I'll come here and enter. So I just copied page two and I put it as page three. And this blue line is the print limits. So I'll just drag it down up to here, as you can see. So now I have three perfect pages. Control P, page one, page two, page three. And if we are meeting for the first time, I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching Cost Engineering Professional. And here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, you can quickly subscribe. Now let's start writing the items that we have. So let's say bill number three, for example, or section C. And let's say, for example, concrete works. Now I have written everything in a small. So what to do, you can say here equal to and just write upper. You see this upper and press tab and choose this cell, then press enter. So you see what this formula doing equal to upper. So it will just make this written in capital letters. So I'll copy this and here I'll paste it as value. Actually, I'll talk about the shortcuts for the pasting in another video, but to paste as a value right now, right click. And from here, you just select values. So I pasted this here as a value. Then you can delete this formula. So this is just sentence here that is written in capital letters. After this, I want everything in column C to be starting from the left. So I'll just select column C like that and I'll go to home and I'll make it start from the left. So everything in this column will be starting from the left, except this cell, I'll bring it back to the middle. And now I will write everything in the BOQ. So as you can see, I wrote these items here. Now let me select this cell and again, control B to make it bold. And now I want to keep rows in between these things, which I wrote here. So how to do this? As I told you to just add row, you select this row, control plus, and actually, I don't want to keep doing it one by one like that. I want to add rows in all of them. So I'll select the second one because if I add row here, it will add a row like this. So what I want to do, I'll just select the first, then I'll press control and I'm holding the control right now. Select this, 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 this. Then after that, you just control plus. So you have added lines between all these. Okay. Now I want to make this one as bold. So again, control B and I want to make it in client. So control I, and if you want to put underline control U. So we have made this as a title substructure works. And this one is another title. So I'll just make it bold control B. Then these are the items, for example, that comes under the pour concrete. So I have a item A, B, C, D and E. Then I can copy these. I'll copy them like this. What I did, I just selected these rows, control C, come here and enter. And I'll just change this into, let's say steel reinforcement. Then again, I'll copy them and I'll come here and paste. Just I'll change this to form work. So I have, as you can see, three titles and under the title, I have the different items and just A, B, C, D, E. So here F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Okay, so it looks something like that. Now, as you can see, the page is corrupted because I added rows. So all I have to do is to come here, control minus to remove some rows. So the page will be perfect again. Now control P to see what happened. It looks something like this. Now let's put the units. Poured concrete, for example, I'll put here meter cube, so M3. So there is one shortcut that I want to show you here. If you want to edit this cell, you usually double click by the mouse. If you want to do this from the keyboard, you just select the cell, then press F2. So when I select F2, now I am inside the cell. I'll press shift and left arrow to choose this three only. Then control one to open the same menu, which is format cells. And once I am here, I'll press tab 
tab, tab, tab. So when I am here, I'll press E to choose superscript, then enter, then enter. So you see how it looks like now? So I can copy this and I'll paste this here, then press Control and here and here and here. Then just press enter. So they will be pasted like this. Steel reinforcement, for example, we want KG here. So I'll just take the KG copy. Again, I'll select the first one. Then I'll press Control. I'll select this, this, and this, and then I'll press Enter. After this, form work is in a square meter. So again, M2. And in order to edit this cell, I'll just go to the cell, then press F2, and Shift with a left arrow to select this two. Then Control 1 to go to format cells. And once I am here, tab, 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 tab. Once you are here, E, enter, enter. Of course, when you practice this for more time, you will be more faster with this. But just because maybe you are seeing it for the first time, you think it's complicated, it is not. So I'll here, I'll select this cell, control C, and then I'll select this one. Then again, control, select this, 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 and enter. Again, this row is becoming out of the page. So all I have to do is to select any of the rows, Control minus. So our page control P looks like this right now. After that, let's go to do the superstructure. Actually, I want to make this a capital letter, substructure. So as you see here, you see I just press F2 to be inside, then by the arrow I will go shift and right, then shift and S to make it capital, and that's it. So now I want to make the second page, which is the superstructure. So all I have to do is to just select, let's say from the beginning of the page until the end of the page. So this is what I am selecting. Just you control C to copy this and you come here and you select this one, then you press enter. When you press enter, this page is pasted like this. And as you can see, this goes out of the page. So again, I'll select any row and I'll just delete control minus and I'll just change this into superstructure. So I have here the substructure works and here I have the superstructure works and maybe the items will be different. So I'll write the items here, which may be columns, slabs, beams, parapets, staircase. And I can copy these items, control C, and I'll select the first one and just enter. So I replace them again, control C, select the first one, enter to replace them. And I'll still have my serial number here. So everything is good and the page looks fine. So if I just press control P, I'll see this is the first page and this is the second page. And here I can make this one as the summary page, for example. So I'll just go to this page and actually there is one thing here. This should be concrete works between brackets. You see again, when I come to this cell F2, then space, Two brackets then I go in between the bracket and I'll write continued so this is the second page of this so I can copy this one come here select this enter and I can write here summary or anything then this will be page one let's say and I can copy it paste here again enter f2 to edit you go inside you change the one into two and for example page one here this cell will be equal to the summary or the submission of page one. And also this one here will be equal to the submission of page two. And this will be the total division. If you want to take auto sum, the auto sum is here. Yes, this is the auto sum and you can select the range. If you want the shortcut of this, you just go to the cell where you want to get the auto sum and you press alt equal. Alt equal will give you this formula and you can just select the range that you want to get the auto sum for and you press enter. So this is how you make the auto sum. If I want to edit any cell, I can just simply double click or as I told you, go to the cell and F2 from the keyboard. And if I press control P now, as you can see, this is page one and this is page two and this is page three. Go control A, again control A. So I'm selecting everything. Control one and number, here you choose number then number, then just use the thousand separator. So you will have thousand separator everywhere in all the cells in your page right now. And here again, alt equal to get the submission. 
of these items up to here, for example. And actually, if you copy this and you come here and put enter, if you press F2 to edit it or double click just to check if it is doing properly, then you have something that looks like that. And in this video, I show you how to make a price comparison in Excel, which is a similar task. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.